Uh, apples. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just say apples. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Mohamed Omar Yiriso. I'm the first secretary of the Somali delegation to the United Nations. Um, so my job entails representing the country on the international stage. So there's quite a plethora of, of, of different things that, um, that table across us. Um, but at the end of the day, we try to bring Somalia to the prime light and, and, and to the world stage and as much as possible and, 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 to, and achieve as much multilateralism as much as possible for the sake of the Somali people. Um, so I grew up originally in London, a small town called Gulf Links Estate in Ealing. At that time, it was quite a Somali dense community. Um, so obviously there's that, that sense of solidarity that we had. I think it's quite similar to the Cedar Riverside that you have in Minneapolis. Um, I consider myself quite a workaholic, if I'm honest. Uh, I started my first job when I was 15. And from that day, um, it was around a similar time when my dad decided to go back and help the country. And there was a lot of responsibility as the eldest son in the family of, of, of seven children and, and my mom to take up and shadow a lot of responsibility at home. Um, from little things such as attending parents' meetings or supporting the younger ones or um, to helping with, around with the bills. In university or college, I was working obviously, whilst full-time I was uh, working three different part-time jobs. Um, so it's just, it just that, that, that emotion of uh, that resilience and, and, and that uh, sustainability. And I think that's quite helped, helped me mature quite a lot from a, from a young age and help me to take up um, responsibilities that, that, that I'm doing now for the sake of the country. Um, I mean, I always say um, God is the best of planners um, in the sense that when I was applying to, to high school or middle school, um, as you guys would call it, um, it was around the same time that my dad was going back to serve the country. Um, so we missed the deadline to apply for different schools. Um, then when that happened, you are automatically allocated a school. And I was allocated not the worst in, in, in the borough, but the, one of the worst in, in, in the UK um, at that time. So then my, 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 my father made a con conscious decision to, to send me to an, an, an independent school at that time. Um, it was an Islamic based school, uh, mostly um, uh, people from Middle Eastern background. My penul penultimate year in high school, I, I, I ran for the position of, of, of head boy at that time. There was a new management in the school and they looked at me and they say, you know, uh, it's, if you look at the, 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 the voting pool, I mean, your, your, uh, the dynamics is most, even inherently, people will, will vote for, for I mean, their, their culture or their background. And I obviously wasn't from at that time, but out of about, I think, 500 votes, I secured about 480. Um, so it was a big, you know, um, big milestone achievement. Um, so that, from, from, from a young age, I, I, I got myself involved in, in, in politics or in service of people, and navigating that in that environment. It wasn't easy at the beginning, but it did show me that with a lot of patience um, and understanding, because at the beginning there's that a lot of fear of who is this person, um, but the more that you negotiate or the more that you interact with people, then that fear just sort of eradicates. And this capacity is a, it's a huge phenomenon that I, that I can come in a different capacity representing my home country. And I think until now it's, a, it's the greatest pleasure of, of, of my life to do so. In the first aspect, that it's, it's a very inspirational job. I mean, when you wake up in the morning, it's, it's you, you don't feel like, oh, I mean, I've got to go to work, or it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's, it gives off very good vibes, if I'm, if I'm quite honest. Um, you're doing something very good every day and helping, you know, a younger generation. Uh, and then if we cross parallel that to Somalia, I mean, 70% of the country is under the age of 30, so we are uh, considered youth. So, I mean, in, in many talks when people say youth are the future of the country, uh, in the case of Somalia, it's actually the other way around, we are the present. Uh, and I think if you look at most diplomats, they usually come from very different backgrounds. I mean, we, 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 have, we work from people from software engineers to um, lawyers, so there are, there, are, there are a lot of diplomats which come from different backgrounds. Uh, and I think that it's, 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 diplomacy is that having people skills. And um, when you work with children and different stuff, you've got to have that people skills, you know, um, to make sure that you, have, you foster a very work, um, nice uh, dynamic and, and, and contribute as much as possible to the wider fabric of the communities. Um, defining uh, time so far, uh, I would be, it would be after the death of, of, of my father and the ramifications that it had, um, because there was a lot of onus on me that at that particular time um, to, to, to be the neutral part of, of, of the family and, and, and to keep everyone together and keep everything instilled. And at the same time, you know, show face um, in, 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 to 15 million, you know, uh, Somalia, in particular 3 million um, citizens of Mogadishu which were mourning um, at that time. The, the moment you arrived in, in, in the country, there are just uh, cameras and, and, and people coming on all sides. So 
it's, 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 you've got to grieve at the same time, but you can't let people show that you are grieving as well. You've got to show that the strength and the resilience um, to, to, to uplift that, that the legacy as well um, that my father left behind. Because, um, you know, at the end of the day, really, the main aim of, um, of, 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 of uh, his assassination was that the work that he was doing would be stopped and, 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 and the support that he had um, to the Somali community, whether it's that um, small thing such as where um, uh, residents who had their homes stolen for 30 years, um, you know, and, and, and the courts weren't doing anything about it to, to, to give their keys back or to give their home back after 30 years of disputes. I mean, it's something which was um, unseen before in, in, in the capital and it's quite remarkable to, to cleaning the streets and building roads, infrastructure, supporting a sewage network. Um, so these type of things, you know, we take granted for here in, in, in America and, and in different parts of the world. But uh, over there, I mean, it's, 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 it's something which is it's needed quite a lot. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of reforms that were introduced, you know, and there were about almost 2,000 uh, youths that, 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 that he employed in it. Uh, one of the main lessons I learned is that uh, if you don't um, support the community or you don't get involved and, and, and to do something, then it creates a void. Um, then that void will easily be filled by um, somebody who could be very hungry for the for a position or um, somebody who, God forbid, is, is incompetent to, to, to serve the com community as much as possible. Um, people with different agendas or, you know, it's, 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 it's that void also gives way to different narratives, whether it's extremist narratives or cor uh, corrupted narratives. Um, so if you don't do it, then, then who? Um, obviously, Somalia is a country in the last 30 years that has been in, 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 in turmoil, um, but is slowly regaining that glory. Uh, I mean, Somalia was once called the Riviera of Africa, um, and we are slowly reclaiming that glory around and, 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 and to help Somalia become a country that can compete on the international stage with other countries. Um, so there are challenges which come in, in that aspect. Obviously, there are different dynamics that, that we try to work around and we try to support. I mean, there are issues facing the countries, such as sanctions that we are in. Um, you know, it's, Somalia is a country which is, uh, as, as we all know, um, heavily uh, discussed, you know, has a lot of stake when it comes to agendas in the Security Council. Um, so we try our best as much as possible to, 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 to uplift the country's name or to give a, the correct and positive narrative of, of Somalia, which a lot of people don't see in terms of the news. Uh, I mean, it's very unlikely that you'll open a news outlet and you'll see, you know, a very positive story on, on Somalia or, um, you know, that the many hotels which are blooming again and restaurants which are reopening and the businesses which are going quite fast. I mean, we are expected to be the first country to be a cashless society um, where all transactions will be completely digital, which is something quite to be proud of. I mean, in terms of e-commerce and in terms of technology advancements, we have the cheapest um, internet and broadband services in all of Africa and the seventh cheapest in the world. Um, and it's very, not, not only is it very cheap, but it becomes very accessible as well. Um, you know, you could have I mean, Somalis in, in, in a tent in the middle of a village with the latest iPhone and texting you and saying so. I mean, I don't know where they get a charger from, but you know, yeah, they are, it's, it's, it's very accessible. Um, and that's something quite to be proud of. Um, and so we, 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 we try to shape that positive and good narrative as much as possible. Um, so that presents itself as quite a challenge. Um, in terms of opportunities, I mean, there are a lot of opportunities, you know, um, that, that, that we can have in terms of the UN. I mean, getting to positions that we have already done in the past five years or so. Um, obviously, I would like to thank my predecessors and, and, and the team and my current team for the work that they're doing into reaching things such as the ECOSOC, Economic and Social Council, and the Human Rights Council for a second term, and the campaign that they're going as well for the Security Council. So they're a very dynamic team and they're working very hard and effortlessly. Um, and we do so with very little financial support. Uh, we do so with very little uh, logistical support as well. Um, but what is overpowering to all of that um, is obviously the will of the Somali people. Um, I mean, of course, we can't, we can't expect to change the world in, 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 in a day or two. Um, but obviously, you know, we, 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 we try as much as possible, um, you know, and so be it if we have to die trying, then of course, you know, we are ready to do so. I mean, it's a, we must always remember that if we don't do um, the service for the country, then who will do so? so my my Maria is, 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 a, is a Somali which is stable, uh, prosperous, um, gives equal opportunity to youth, uh, women, marginalized groups, a uh, country that can compete in international scale, um, a country that has regained its glory, you know, as the Riviera of, of, of Africa, um, a fast place, you know, and, and a booming economic industry. Um, and, 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 and a sense of, of pride um, that, we can, that we can give. 
And I, I hope in, within our lifetime that that reel can be transformed to a vision uh, and then therefore that vision will be transformed into, into a reality. Um, so it's, it's, it's something that I'm very optimistic for uh, and I'm sure that, that, that the will of the Somali people and the resilience that they have shown uh, will allow us to achieve remarkable milestones and I have no doubt that the future is very bright for us and uh, I hope in, in that I can continue to serve the Somali people as much as possible.